title's kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> Crunchyroll is doomed. Uh, and faces potentially their end. Am I getting clickbaited by Chibi right now? Are you getting my hopes up? Is someone else going to step up to the plate and deliver an actual good service rather than Crunchyroll is having a monopoly over the distribution of anime? Two and a half weeks ago, David Wald accused Crunchyroll of mel theft slash mel fraud. It's a very serious accusation, and for those that are unaware of just how serious it is, just one count of mel fraud could be about $250,000. Yep. You factor in that there has been countless fan mail stolen from him, and it was a prolonged period of time of five years of mail stolen from him that he never got to see. You can actively say that most likely the amount of cost uh, in terms of like what the felonies would cost is probably in the millions at this point <laughs> yeah and they did have a follow-up statement right uh, Crunchyroll I remember uh, a week ago or something we made another video doing a follow-up from Rev where I think that Crunchyroll made a statement saying uh so by the way we, it's not our problem. Y'all should have always sent your stuff to, you know, the voice actor rather than through Crunchyroll hoping to redistribute it, right? So they were kind of playing like, you know, uh, don't blame us. You guys fucked up. And then we'll also investigate ourselves and uh, see if there's anything wrong with it, which is like, hmm, really? You're gonna, Crunchyroll is going to inv investigate Crunchyroll and Crunchyroll has found out that Crunchyroll did no wrong. Wow. Amazing. For instance, what David Wald has accused Crunchyroll of is mass mail fraud that legitimately could be seriously damaging, not just to the employees of Crunchyroll, but to Crunchyroll itself as a brand. Because that is not something that the government messes around with when it comes to mail fraud and opening people's mail and stuff. They take that extremely serious. So these accusations that David Wald... <gasps> Trump... Expected to halt potential TikTok ban. Looking like I might start posting on TikTok again. <laughs> Completely out of topic, but I stopped posting on TikTok a long time ago because I'm like, I'm not making any money off this shit. Plus, that's just going to get banned in the United States. The market's going to die off. What's going to happen? Uh, Looking like I might make a comeback there. Wald made a few weeks back was definitely making the rounds in the anime and manga community and a lot of people started talking about Crunchyroll and their ethics and all that. It resurfaced the whole controversy around let's say AI translations to agenda pushing with like you know people that translate anime to inaccurate translations to just very improper you know subtitle timings when an episode releases all sorts of issues with Crunchyroll, and that doesn't even get into, let's say, the disabled comments and mm -hmm. all the other stuff, but basically, thanks to the controversy a few weeks back, the floodgates opened, and Crunchyroll got even more flack than it already has been in the last year. Now, the reason why- This kind of feels like so many different phases. Like, maybe Divine Retribution, Judgment Day is upon Crunchyroll. Small... Subtle little, you know, faults turning into major faults, building up, building up to the point where even this shit's happening with mail fraud. Is this the perfect storm? Is the end of Crunchyroll actually going to happen? Why I'm talking about this is because I'm setting the stage up for what was released earlier yesterday. Because it is a continuation and a follow-up to the story I covered a few weeks back. Uh, yesterday? A few weeks back? I remember a few weeks back. What happened yesterday? Because obviously, when I made my video about two and a half weeks ago when this news broke, you know, Crunchyroll was yet to respond. They did not respond to David Wald. They did not even, like, respond to his emails or anything like that. And this was the post he made when the whole public, the whole internet found out about this. He's like, Dear fellow workers at Crunchyroll, below is a photo of the uh, complete contents of one of the packages addressed to me that was opened and distributed to employees. If you've ended up in possession of any of it, I would very much like it returned to me. And basically, the whole point of this was, is that this was just one package. And as I already stated at the beginning of this video, just one count of mail fraud is like $250,000, okay? Over $200,000. How many and counts? And we know for a fact that this was ongoing for literally five years, and he is a voice actor, so you know a famous voice actor like voices, for instance, Gajiel from, like, Fairy Tale and all other characters. Like, here's a, a list of characters he's voiced over the years. Sorry for the the flashbang of the white screen, but he's voiced countless characters. And yeah, he's a huge, you know, like, A-list voice actor, meaning 
potentially there's gonna be, gonna be way more fan mail that's been sent to him because of the exposure that he's had through these different titles. So someone that's been active in the industry for basically two plus decades at this point, it's very clear that he's definitely garnered a lot of fan mail. And in the last five years, definitely hundreds upon hundreds of fan mail potentially. And so when you think about that situation, one count is 200 to $250,000, okay? That's 250. Imagine hundreds, okay? <gasps> We're talking about multi-million, maybe even 50 to $100 million potential fines against the employees and Crunchyroll itself for how this even happened in the okay. first place. And something I didn't really talk about in my first follow-up video I made, or the, the first video I made, was that if this has happened to one voice actor, who knows other voice actors, right? This is just the tip of the iceberg because no one wants to speak out against Crunchyroll because if you kind of look like a whistleblower, if you look like you're snitching, and, you know, I don't think snitching really is the correct term to use here, but if you voice out these injustices when you're working with corporations, what do you think is going to happen in the future? Even if it's righteous, even if it's justified under morals and ethics, other companies are going to think that you are a liability, that you will be blacklisted. This has definitely happened to more than just one voice actor. What I'm trying to say is, is that the reason why this is out... This is a fucking crazy keychain. What is this, bro? Look at him. He's wearing a tight spandex suit. He's looking back up, and there's a hole on his ass. That's insane. This dude, like, this tweet is crazy. Of course it's a serious problem, but the fact that this is involved... <laughs> light because obviously Crunchyroll's employees were caught but if this happened to one person you know they're opening up fan mail of other VAs that that's definitely what they're doing they're yeah. definitely doing this and they just haven't been caught for it yet and so this just like it is definitely a huge lawsuit that is definitely taking place here that can easily happen against Crunchyroll and Crunchyroll obviously is in some very hot water because of this I ain't no lawyer but it's very apparent just like with the obvious accusations here and if this really is 100% he has definitive proof like David Wall does Crunchyroll is donezo like it is not good for them like they're again like I'm just a dude that watches anime online I have no clue the legal precedence of how significant this is. Do you think there'll be actual justice being brought upon here? You think the loss will actually go through? I don't know. It, like, it would be crazy if it didn't, but I could also think that like, maybe it would just get brushed under. And mail theft is an insane, insane you know, federal crime, right? I mean, we already showed that screenshot before, so it's just like, I guess I have no faith in the justice system for shit like this to be corrected, but maybe it'll happen. Very internal structure might have to be completely changed if there is a full-blown lawsuit, which gets into the current stuff of today. Now with the groundwork being placed, we can mm. talk about this information right here. So David Wald made a post early morning yesterday talking about how he will not be returning to Crunchyroll. He will not oh, be voicing shit. characters like Gaggio and, you know, from Fairy Tale and other different roles he's had over the years. And he is about Boycott. to basically expose Crunchyroll for their abuses and stuff Ooh. on a live stream. Now, when is this live stream happening, bro? Like, today? Wait, 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 wait. Judging by what he said in previous posts, like, if you go through his, like, uh, his social media and stuff, he's basically said that, you know, he is going to be seeking legal action and all that. That. And I feel like the way the direction is going, David Wald is building up a case. He's building up a case against Crunchyroll to potentially yeah. sue them, potentially showcase their, you know, their actual illegal activities and different things they have done and all that. He's about to drag them through the mud, so to speak. And nah, he will settle for a couple of millions. I mean, let's say there's 50 million on the line. And Crunchyroll says, I'll pay you 10 mil to just... David would then just take the money and fuck off? Sometimes it's more than the money. Sometimes it's about the message. And David, I have no clue of his financial status and the potential to even earn more if you have an irrefutable case. That could sway the balance of, you know, the, you know, little bribe there. Who knows? 
And so, with this statement overall, David seems to be very serious about everything that's going on. And to be fair with him, you know, I wouldn't want to work with Crunchyroll either if they stole my fan mail. I mm -hmm. wouldn't want to participate with them, work with them, or Bro, whatever. Them. So him backing down from voice acting characters is sad, don't get me wrong, but it's... And it's not even like David getting fired, right? Because, like, if he got fired and stuff like that, like, maybe you could have said that he's simply a disgruntled employee who is trying to put Crunchyroll, you know, drag them through the dirt, but he left of his own volition, I'm assuming. It's understandable why he would do that. And I just think that, you know, legitimately, I wouldn't be able to work with a company if they were actively. Crunchyroll's worth $600,000? <laughs> Shit. And listen, 600,000 US dollars, that's a lot of money. But like, if that's the valuation of your company, and that, that's, bro, that's less than three mail thefts. Nah, it's 1.2 billion? Who's coming with these fucking numbers, bro? But 600k, that's, that's less than three mail thefts. Only stealing my mail for years. You know, even if they were to, let's say, say sorry or whatever, and I'm assuming they have not, you know, I still wouldn't want to work with them, which that mm -hmm. gets into the next point. So with this announcement that David made, it's very clear that Crunchyroll has probably not responded to him. They have probably not really talked with him or anything. It is not in their best interest to even contact him, right? Remember, the reason why they took some time to respond is because if you give out like a hasty response and more shit happens, you look worse. Their liabilities, messages, receipts, their liabilities. It's in their best interest to just shut the fuck up and then deal with the lawyers. Thing like that. And if there has been, obviously David hasn't really said anything about it. The only thing we have is, is that happened, you know, a few days after his announcement that they were still in his stuff. Is that still no reply at all from the old Crunchyroll, no apology, no commitment Oral. to recover items, nothing. Basically, he was never directly contacted. This was the last thing he actually said about it until earlier yesterday when he said he was going to start exposing Crunchyroll for everything they've done. Yo. Now, let's get into what that is for instance you know like uh look at that so maybe there's a case and maybe there's not or maybe i just become the whistle that never stops blowing either way these abuses will be brought to light stay tuned so he's about to drag cruncher all, all the fucking way down and i'm all for it why they haven't responded to him, but some might have heard that, you know, Crunchyroll did respond and have uh, some form of statement to make. So basically, um, <laughs> to make a long story short, Crunchyroll did respond uh, on the same day as David's, you know, post, for instance, this post here, but they never responded to him. Of course. In fact, the only actual comment they made was, like, this picture here. If you accept fault and there's a receipt of that, you're fucked. Why would Crunchyroll respond to him and even imply that they're at fault, right? I'm not justifying Crunchyroll's decision. I'm telling you the logic behind, you know, different people and groups of what's in their best interest. And Crunchyroll's best interest is to gaslight, denounce, and say, nope, we've done the investigation, we found no faults. And it's actually your fault for sending the goods to us rather than to the voice actors. That's what they're going to die with which you can see right here you can pause the screen to read it for yourself and they you know this is what david said that exact same day after that came out and basically that statement came from anime news network a anime news site contacting crunchyroll about the situation and I love the Diablo background soundtrack, by the way. And basically, Crunchyroll said that they are actively investigating it and stuff, and that's basically all they gave. So, they never responded to David, from what we can see. They have kept it very hush-hush, which makes sense, because obviously they have quite a high-class lawsuit, potentially, on their hands, depending on how they handle this. So, they're definitely wanting to play very defensive. They don't want to open the door up for potentially even more lawsuits and stuff. But, um, regardless of the situation, it seems that they have been very silent. They haven't talked with david whatsoever they've never really responded to him they and won't. that means the only time they've responded is a comment to anime news network so what you've seen basically with this with the response is just this email so to speak which seems very unprofessional because it's like crunchy rule i understand you don't want to open yourself up to a lawsuit but yeah. it's so easy to be like okay there's obviously some very bad activity with these employees. You could easily make a statement saying you're investigating and you know looking into the situation.
I mean, they did say that they are investigating themselves right now in this post, right? She make a public statement, garner some goodwill. Obviously, the reputation's already damaged from this. They could have garnered goodwill of just saying, okay, we're going to investigate it. And then as they investigate it, they potentially fire the people and, you know, they put them into like the no-no square, basically saying that yeah. you're potentially going to get sued by this man. And, uh, I, I mean, the post literally says we're investigating it, but like, yeah, right. Um, I feel like those gonna, there's going to be some scapegoats. There's going to be some scapegoats that's going to be taking the blame for this, I think. And because obviously what you've done, but try to distance themselves, so to speak, from the overall lawsuit. They could have easily have done that, but clearly they're not wanting to do that. They're kind of doubling down, trying to remain very silent, which, like I said, is probably why David has resorted to this. And now he's going to be exposing them. And probably, like I said, he's seeking legal help. But yeah, it's um, it's some wild stuff, honestly. Crunchyroll really has just degraded over the years. It's mm -hmm. just super, super insane to me. Like, I've had offers to work with Crunchyroll in the past, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Oh. And I'm glad that uh, I never really fully followed up and worked with them completely. Because Base it's TV. like, if they're treating their voice actors and stuff like this, I could not imagine how they would just treat regular content creators. I, I could mm. not imagine that. So I, I don't know. Fucking hit up Giga. He's always doing sponsors, Crunchyroll shit. Crunchyroll's always hitting up other like, big, I don't know, streamers like, I don't know, Saikuno or other people that may have more like an anime enjoying audience and they just let them stream that shit for free, right? I'm glad, honestly. I mean, so I can say whatever I want. I'm not gonna happen to be hush-hush and Let's play go. on ice or on glass because I don't want to lose a sponsorship or Based. something. I'm just gonna keep it legitimately real. This is gross activity, what Crunchyroll is doing, and the fact that you have a voice actor having to basically go this far to be able to get his fan mail back is absolutely insane. Crunchyroll really... What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? As I've said before, the only- Wonder what is happening over there? Just a bunch of chickens running around with his head cut off. What is going on? What is the leadership like? I would love to understand the corporate structure and like the decision makers and really poke some holes of logic of like, you really think that these are like the good decisions you're doing to foster a community that's long lasting? You're getting cocky because there's no other competition of anime distributors? Well, there is, but not, you know, on the level of Crunchyroll, they are pretty much number one in terms of, like, legal streaming services, I guess. But what are they fucking doing? Maybe it's time for them to learn a lesson. Maybe it's time for them to just get knocked down a peg. And then this David guy, right? Voice actor, he said, like, Doomsday is coming. I got the receipt. Judgment Day is upon us. Follow this Twitch stream. Who knows, bro? I'll be waiting for the Judgment Day reason I have a Crunchyroll subscription is because I use it as a tax write-off since I'm a content creator. And I'm going to keep it completely blunt. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. I'm able to use that. But if I wasn't a content creator that could use that, I would not have a Crunchyroll subscription. I'm going to be complete. Yep. We ain't fucking watching our animes on Crunchyroll. Fuck them. Nah. If you guys are still supporting Crunchyroll, vote with your wallet. There's other means of watching anime. Come on. The One Piece exists, guys. Be like Luffy. Completely blunt. I could not recommend a company that's this corrupt. I can't. That That is just legitimately insane to me. But uh, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Chibi, for the update. And I think the um interesting thing that's going to happen moving throughout the next couple of weeks is this stream. There's no date. There's no timeline. He just said follow it. And he's going to tell us all about it. I hope I'll be, you know, awake when he's streaming, but I'm sure we'll be able to react to some part of it or someone talking about it. And obviously, it's easy to talk with your chest, you know, puffed up high in the beginning process when there's no temptations of settlements. But even if he didn't, you know, accept the settlement, these law cases, don't they try to just stall and stall and stall, make him basically like, I, I remember like, Nintendo and other people, other huge corporations, whenever, you know, they're at fault or something, they'll basically stall with their lawyers and make the whole process so long, arduous, and painful to the individual's wallet that it's just not a viable choice. Then you'll have to have, you know, different means of crowdfunding to fight the legal battle. But is that worth the hassle? Davis, I don't know if crashing out is the right term here, but this is a... It's a very bold stance to take, and we'll be definitely 
watching and observing the developments, please go give Mr. Chibi a video like. Here is the link. There it is. And I'll see you guys next time.